Hey guys, my name is Kush and uh, I'm from the country that's called Tajikistan, which is in the middle of Asia. And for for the last four years, I've been living here in in United States, especially in Los Angeles, California. And in this video, I will tell you my story, how I came and why I chose to live in United States in United States. Maybe this video will be helpful for you, for those people who live in those uh, uh, far countries, like Tajikistan, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Maybe it will be helpful for you. So stay tuned and let's go. Hi again. As I said, my name is Kush and I, I was born and I grew up in a country called Tajikistan. If you are, if you don't know where Tajikistan is, it borders with China and Afghanistan. So we are in the middle uh, of China and Afghanistan. And that country is small, really beautiful. We have our own language, everything is good. We have our own economy, which also depends on uh, big uh, countries like Russia and United States. I mean, our economy depends. Uh, living there is is really good. I really miss being there, but. Uh, opportunities that uh, my country has it is not enough so there are a lot of people who doesn't uh, who don't have uh, work and uh, as I said less opportunity so when I was studying at ninth grade my mother she uh, she kind of um, gave me a piece of motiv motivation saying that if you will learn English language you will have a chance to go abroad you will have a chance to be even to study even in in United States so that piece of motivation that she gave me it really motivated me to learn English and I fall in love with English language and uh, from 10th to 11th grade until I graduated I uh, attended English classes and there uh, there was a school that called American school where they uh, taught English language they are still teaching English language and uh, that one and a half and two years that I've been studying English, I uh, really fell in love with uh, with the culture. Especially, I fell in love with American accent, not the British accent. I don't have any, anything against them, but I fell in love with the American accent. So, as the, my school was American school, so there were uh, people who studied in the uh, United States. So, uh, after a year, I think, uh, studying English language, I. Uh, I had a chance to apply for FLEX program. FLEX program is a future leader exchange program where uh, they will pick a few people, a few students who are graduating 11th grade and they will send you for one year in, to the United States to uh, to live and study at the uh, high school, United, United States high school. It all depends uh, where your host family will be. So you will, if they accept you, you will go there, you will sl uh, live in their house and you will attend um, a local high school. I applied for that and unfortunately on the third round, uh, I was not accepted. It was, uh, it really hurt me bad because uh, everything that I wanted is to come to the United States at least for a year. And at that time I thought that this, uh, I'm not lucky enough to, to be to come to the United States, so it kind of um, hurt me for a few days. But uh, in the end of my story, you will understand that this was uh, actually the best thing that didn't happen. It was really good that didn't happen. And after that, I, I applied for more than 30 uh, universities uh, abroad, um, like Cyprus, Malaysia, also I tried United States, England. I uh, was accepted uh, uh, to most of them, but I had to pay uh, some amount of money. I couldn't get 100% scholarship. The the lowest that I could, the highest scholarship that I found, it was 100% uh, 100, 100 for a university, but I had to pay for dormitory, living in a dormitory for, uh, living in the campus uh, for uh, $1,600 for a whole year. And unfortunately, we couldn't afford it. One thousand six hundred dollars. We couldn't afford it to pay per year. So uh, the only chance that I had is to find university that gives me hundred percent scholarship, so I don't need to pay for um, campus university. I could uh, work and uh, pay for for my expenses that I, that I will be living there. 
as I applied for as many universities as possible and there was also an opportunity to apply for Russian University or going to Russia was the last option to me because I always wanted to go to those countries who speak English so thankfully I was accepted at the Russian University 100% free and uh, it was the best option because we didn't have to pay for anything because we were kind of struggling with, with the money so I went it was I think 2017 I went to uh, Russia, a city called Yekaterinburg, and uh, I attended their university. I studied there uh, for first year, then I came back to Tajikistan. All that year, I had in my head uh, th thought that I have to go to the United States because since uh, ninth and tenth grade, I had that American culture, American dream that I really wanted to to achieve. So. All that time I had that mindset a mindset in my head and also I remember I had um, uh, I had the pictures and all my dreams uh, put on, on the wall when I was uh, living in a dormitory back in Russia the saying that uh, I want to go to the United States then uh, I want to have my family and ha I want to buy this car all those uh, goals it was written and printed and uh, was on the wall uh, of that uh, dormitory uh, living in Russia was was pretty good it taught me a lot of things uh, because I went there alone and uh, being independent at that early age like 16 17 uh, 19 you know and uh, it helped me a lot and it was it was pretty difficult because Russia is really cold especially that city that I was in Yekaterinburg it was really really cold well, we had like six months of winter, snow, cold, wind. So after uh, after one year that I studied, I came back to Tajikistan. Then after a month, I went back to Russia. And uh, on September, I found out about uh, that uh, student exchange program that I applied for the student exchange program uh, to United States. So all that year, I tried my best to to make money because it was it was not cheap it was like three thousand dollars or something and uh, I had to I had to apply I had to collect all the documents you know how collecting documents it's uh, difficult so I did all of that and uh, I didn't tell my parents I didn't say anything that I'm trying to go to the United States uh, I was I was trying to study and to prepare for that program which uh, which was pretty good and uh, I, I passed everything and I had interview uh, for for my visa when uh, on the 7th of June I prepared for that interview too uh, and uh, we were 10 people who were who, who had to go through that program then 10 uh, 10 friends of mine so we went to the embassy and from 10 of us believe it or not but I was the only one who got accepted who uh, who got the visa so they gave me a visa and uh, I was unhappy and sad at the same time because I was trying to come here with my friends so I don't feel lonely but unfortunately no one was accepted except me and uh, the questions in the interview uh, were a lot and I prepared to them to them too I will make a separate video uh, to tell you what questions I had, what I did, how I answered. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, please subscribe to not miss any uh, for further videos about coming to United States and living in United States. So with that said, uh, when I received, when I got approved for my visa, next day I I got my passport with, with that stamp and I bought, then I bought uh, tickets. I had to go first to North Carolina through through that program. So I bought the tickets. Then I called my parents, and uh, before that they were calling me that you should come. I mean, we miss you, blah blah blah, or uh, everything that family tells you when you're far, far from them. But I called them. I called my mom and said that mom, unfortunately, I cannot come uh, this summer. And she was. Uh, she was questioning why everything is everything okay are you healthy 
all those questions that the mother first asked. And I told her that, uh, yes, mom, everything is, is good. I cannot come uh, to Tajikistan this summer because I'm going to the United States. And she was, what, what, uh, something interrupted you. I didn't hear you clear. Why you, are you, why, why you cannot come? I said, mom, I'm going to the United States. I'm going to America. Like, you are kidding me. She was happy and afraid at the same time because the United States is really far from where uh, where I used to live, where Tajikistan, Russia is, right? She was afraid. She was she was asking tons of questions, and the only thing that I said, "Mom, I have my tickets in two days. Uh, don't don't be scared. Don't be afraid. I'm going to United States for for." Uh, as a student exchange, so don't worry about it. And she, she said, okay. And after five minutes, when when she hung up, my dad calls. He said, are you going to the United States? And I'm like, yeah. And he was happy too. He was really, really happy. And uh, he was also asking tons of questions. And after he hung up, my, uh, my grandfather called me. Then my grandmother called me. Then my uncle called me. All my family started calling me saying that I really going to the United States because it is not an easy task to do when I was if I was in uh, Tajikistan it would be much harder for me to, to come to the United States so thankfully that Russia opportunity really gave me an opportunity to come here as I, uh, I told them uh, after that my mom called me and said uh, believe it or not but she sent me to send a picture of my uh, ticket uh, flight ticket so she knows that I'm going to United States because at that time those uh, Muslim people they were kind of tricked to go to Syria to fight for a fight you know and she was scared of that too when I took a picture of, of my ticket I sent them everyone would, uh, was happy and uh, after two days I uh, had a ticket so from Ekaterinburg I flew, flew to Moscow Moscow to London London to New York New York to uh, Charlotte in North Carolina and from Charlotte to Asheville where uh, I stay and the whole trip took me uh, like 36, uh, 36 uh, hours it was pretty interesting and difficult at the same time because when you're on a flight when you're on the flight it is night time when you arrive, no, actually, when you are flat, it is daytime. When you arrive, it is nighttime. And uh, every time when I arrived to each airport, there were four or five, it was night. And 36 hours, 36 hours and uh, all the time that I was in, in the airport, it was night. 36 hours of night. It was pretty difficult, but when I arrived uh, at Asheville, there were people who who greeted me and said that, "Hey, welcome!" And I, at that time, I saw all those uh, road signs. I don't know about you, but when I watched Hollywood movies and American movies, road signs are really different than back in my country in Russia. And uh, seeing all those signs, all those yellow lines, it. Uh, it felt like he, uh, I'm dreaming. It is not real that I arrived to the United States because for a long time, for years, it had been my dream. And uh, from there, my journey started. And uh, after North Carolina, I moved to Los Angeles where I'm living for uh, more than three years, I believe. And uh, this was the pretty much the story uh, of my story. Uh, the guy who was born in a small country that's called Tajikistan, that, uh, a lot of people don't know where it is. Grew, growing up there, having a dream uh, to come to America, to achieve American dream, and the, uh, at that time being in Tajikistan, didn't have that opportunity, then I chose another opportunity, opportunity to go to Russia, even though I, I didn't want it, but as my goal was to go abroad, so Russia, Russia it is. And I went there and then uh, after two years I had an opportunity to apply for for that program. Then I come to the United States. All everything, well, uh, when I talk, it makes me excited. And uh, 
um, I've been through a lot and all that process I learned a lot and living here in uh, United States also was pretty difficult in the beginning so uh, in next videos I will I will make next videos uh, telling you all my experience starting with uh, how I got approved with, with the visa how I came what I did when I moved to Los Angeles why I moved to Los Angeles all those questions also uh, everything about doc documentations everything that a person need to know before coming to United States and uh, when they they come to United States for a, for a couple of years what they have to do what are what things are important because I made a lot of mistakes and uh, I learned from those mistakes and I'm making these YouTube videos so that you don't make those mistakes and you achieve your results a lot faster with that said you guys thank you very much for, for watching if you found this video valuable please give it a like so it helps me it helps the, the channel to grow if you want to to not miss any f further videos so please subscribe and see you next time thank you bye